All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you uh, probably my all-time favorite rubber band trick. Um, essentially, you just use these two household items. You can use these borrowed, and it will work every single time. So it's completely impromptu. You go up to the spectator. You show them you are going to dip the first rubber band into the second. And just like that, obviously, these are intertwined. But what you're able to do is give them a little bit of a rub, and hopefully they will come apart just like that. So this is the trick, guys. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how the trick is actually going to work. So this is a really old trick called uh, Crazy Man's Handcuffs. Um, it's just one of those classic uh, magician with rubber band type tricks that you can pretty much do. This has been around for a while, and you can do this with pretty much any two rubber bands. The only thing you don't want to do, uh, you want to have these thin ones because if you have a thick rubber band like that, it's really not going to work because the uh, rubber bands are going to catch on each other, and the spectators are going to see a lot of that. Uh, a lot of that uh, flicking motion so here's what you're gonna want to do so you have the two rubber bands and you can have the spectator hold one of the rubber bands like this it actually makes the trick a lot better if you have the spectator hold the one with the rubber bands horizontal and then you do the actual move with your other hand so this way the spectator is a little bit more misdirected uh, but in this case I'm just gonna teach it as if you were doing it you know just by yourself here and the first thing you want to do is hold the rubber band with your thumb and your index finger and just kind of intersect the rubber bands like that. It's kind of self-explanatory. And the uh, the rubber band that doesn't do anything, that's gonna be horizontal. And the hand that does all the uh, all the, the little move here, that is gonna be your dominant hand. And here's what's gonna have to happen. So you keep your middle finger. I'm gonna go ahead and just break down the move real quick and then kind of get into the more specifics later on. But what essentially is happening is this rubber band that's on your thumb and your index as you're coming down, so you have the rubber bands, you're showing the spectators that the rubber bands are interlocked. As you're coming down, what's going to happen is you're going to have your middle finger on top of your index. You come down, the rubber band is going to go around your middle finger now, so you should be able to release with your index. You're putting that index finger in between the loop right here with your thumb. This is now coming in, so your thumb and your index finger are now in the same loop. And all you have to do is as you release forward, you're going to, re or as you release the tension coming back up, you are letting go with that middle finger and sliding the rubber band back together. And that's where you can shake the cards or actually shake the rubber band a little bit and peel away. And that is essentially the move, guys. Um, do it one more time. So you go up to the spectator, you show them. And like I said, it makes a lot, it's a lot easier if the spectator is holding the one rubber band flat because then obviously they're a little bit more dis misdirected. But you have your your middle finger on top directly on top of your index and you're going back and forth you say look so I can't get the rubber bands left or right they're clearly in there and another way you can do the move is as you're actually twisting your hands you do the same exact motion where the, where the rubber band actually falls on your middle finger just like that as you can see I can release with my index now it's being held on by my middle finger and you can stick your index right here with your thumb in the same loop and as you come back around you're letting go with that middle finger just like that and you can go really quickly just so the spectators can't see any of the uh, rubber band kind of flashing and kind of move your hands around and then move your hands so uh, you can move the rubber bands away so uh, one more time guys I'm, I'm sure most of you guys have already have this down but essentially one more time you have the rubber bands like this so for anybody else who wants to stick around this is going to be one more time you have your middle finger on top of your index that's covering completely covering your index finger you say, all right, so look, I, can, I can't I can get these rubber bands apart like this, obviously. So you can show the spectators there's no way the rubber bands are coming out. You go left, right, up, down. And as you come down, that rubber band is going to catch that middle finger. You'll be able to release with your index. Your index comes in in this, in this loop with your thumb. And as the cards or as the rubber bands come forward, you're releasing with that middle finger right here so the car or the rubber bands like this you're coming back up releasing with that middle finger sliding forward moving these around and then you can show it to the spectator so this is the rubber band trick um, I hope you guys like it um, it's you know it's a little bit different than card magic but I hope you guys all are able to uh, eventually practice this move and do this smoothly and anyways guys best of luck and as always She's a literal vampire.